Hello, welcome to this um, short introduction that I would like to share some things about the Tantra that I enjoy. My partner and I will be leading in Budapest from the 15th to the 17th of March. Um, Tantra is very often, how to say it, it has so many different understandings of what Tantra is. And uh, first, maybe I would like to say a few words about what I feel it has given to me. I feel Tantra has given me much more relaxation in my life, more relaxation into being who I am, into accepting myself, who as I am, and not needing maybe that I feel I have to change to become someone, to be accepted and loved by others. Tantra does that, that it works with our um, life energy, with our energy source. And when we work and learn to be connected to that life energy, it goes beyond where we are conditioned and for what do we have to do or be to become loved. So Tantra is very much about saying yes to life, saying yes to who we are. And when we connect with the life source, our energy source, then we naturally get gets connected to the source of joy. Somewhere Osho says, joy is a substance that existence is made of. And in a way, in this group, we will be guiding you a lot into connecting with this source and, and having the experience of being connected to it. And knowing that when you are connected to this source, it's like you start already there feeling at home. And when we feel at home, it gives many changes in our lives, work-wise, friendships, partners. It's like we start relaxing into being who we are and having more confidentiality and more trust in life and more trust in ourselves. And this is some things that gives big changes. It's very simple. And still it's very hard to, to learn because we are so used to keep looking out, looking out for confirmation, for acceptance, and we are losing the connection with ourselves. And one big part of Tantra is actually that we also, whether we are man or woman, we have an opposite inner sex. We have a, how to say, a metaphor that we use, that we play within the group also, to finding our inner lover. Our inner lover is actually our inner opposite sex. And when we start knowing that and getting connected with that inner opposite sex, it gives us a feeling of more wholeness about coming home here. And it changes also the way we are looking for a new partner, if that is an issue in our life or the way we are looking for acceptance, because it's already happened, the meeting inside. And that helps us to become more mature in our relating, and helps us to be also more playful in our relating outwards. It takes away a lot of our insecurity in our relating. One of the big issues we all face somewhere in life is actually that, that self-acceptance is very often, or mostly, dependent on others and what others think and what others mean about us. But when we start having that meeting inside, we start relaxing. And it really helps us also expand our creativity and our playfulness and let us be more who we are.